So what do you do with this? Unless we know Genesis 3.15, none of it makes sense. Unless we know how Genesis 3.15 translates into modernity, their seed will mingle with the seed of men, but they will not cleave to them. Here we are. Their seed is mingling with the seed of men, but there's no marriage contract. They take, they rape, and then they come back in and expose the fetus. And they use the, the tissue from the cows and horses and other livestock to create artificial wounds. That sounds unbelievable. What was it, two or three weeks ago we were talking about making artificial wounds for human beings? And it's national news? Are you kidding me? We're here. This is why he's got to come back soon. Because all the prophecies are lining up in ways that I've never seen it. He's got to, because he can't fix us anymore. That doesn't mean we walk hopeless. We, we should be walking in victory. One, because now you know the truth. Then the truth will set you free. And you will not be deceived. And you'll be able to minister to other people about this. And if someone comes up to you, a family member, and says, I saw a UFO, you'll be able to witness to them. You'll be able to talk to them. If someone confides in you, I think I've been taken, I have missing time, you'll be able to talk to them about it. You'll be able to witness. This is spiritual warfare. This is the deep. What does this have to do with salvation, LA? Absolutely stinking nothing. It has nothing to do with salvation. Salvation's here. Paul talks about that. We don't need to be talking about salvation. If you don't know Jesus, then you don't know him. And you need to know him because he will set you free. End of story. But salvation is here. It's in the shallow end of the pool. It's the pool. It's the beginning. I don't need to be, I don't need a salvation message every day in my life. I'm saved. But now I'm in the deep end of the pool. I'm way over here. 12 feet, big diving board, you know, maybe 20 feet. Who knows? I'm in the deep end of the pool. I'm learning the secrets of the enemy. I'm learning about the heavenly war. I'm putting on the armor of God on a daily basis. I'm walking in victory, not because of me, but because of him and my steps. It's just like any biblical figure that we read. This is where we are. It's the deep end of the pool. It's mind-boggling, but here we are. And everything I've said is backed up by scripture. Every single thing I've said, except when I say conjecture, is backed up by scripture. Everything. It all goes back to Daniel chapter 2. All of it. All of it goes back there.